All right, guys, Paul with Cigar Life here. Finally going to get to do the review on the Greycliff 10-Year Vintage Maduro. Oh, I actually did one review on it, but my microphone wasn't on, so, yeah, doing it again. Waited a couple days, though. Also, showing you cigars we're going to be giving away. This is the Avio Synchrono. This is what they call the South America because it has pretty much every country in South America's tobacco on it. Really great box press. And the one that I said, and I think you all are going to agree, the best cigar I've smoked in years is actually the Nicaraguan 90 Plus Overruns. Um, I'll pull one out real quick for you. These have been aged in my humidor for a little while. I ordered another set. Uh, they're so good, they're the only ones my wife smokes. And I, if I have to pick one cigar to smoke forever, it would be that one. It's just got everything you're looking for. All right, guys. Well, let's get to the Gray Cliff. As you all know, I do like my deep V, and I cut an X in it. And let's see how this one is. It's supposed to be a nice medium body. When I smoked it, it was so good that I just I smoked it all the way down. I do take off the 10-year vintage one first. You know, that one's not stuck down with any gum, so Let's see how it goes with the toasty. This one's price point has been around $20, $25. Uh, depends on what size you can get. You can get them cheaper, but let me get a five pack for $99 or $125. Um, this one right here is actually made in the Bahamas. It's got the Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper. It has a Honduran and Nicaraguan long filler. Of course, it's the Maduro wrapper, but. Hmm. I saw that on the camera. It's the one thing good about the camera is you can catch where it wasn't toasted correctly. I just like to puff it up a couple times. That's it. God, the first draw on that one. Oh. Next week I'm probably going to do a sweepstake of this one and another one. Just doing a giveaway. We'll try to do it once a week. Uh, just a couple cigars, you know. Just enough to give you all a good taste of what I'm smoking on the review. That way y'all can smoke it, watch the review, tell me what you think. Post your own review to Cigar Life on Facebook. And uh, make sure you do like, share, and subscribe to this. You can comment below to make sure that I do got you on here as a subscriber. Even if you subscribe to the last one or the ones before, as long as you're a subscriber, you're automatically entered in. And we do it this way. Alexa, pick a number between 1 and 50. Your random number between 1 and 50 is 13. Lucky number 13 would have been the winner. Uh, it's not up to me. Sometimes she does say 1. Sometimes she does say 50. Sometimes, she, you know, it just goes anywhere in the spectrum. It's easier than me pulling the name out of a hat. Guys, this is the third time I've smoked this one. I am never disappointed in this cigar. I actually ordered the 30 year age one. I'm going to do a direct side by side comparison on a video. I'm going to have to order five more of these. <laughs> Just, I'm probably going to do it in a sampler pack because you can get a whole sampler pack for a cost of five of these. I don't normally do shout outs, but Thompson's. Celebrity uh, pack, sampler pack. That's what I got. I had the Cohiba Red Dots. Had the Monte Cristos 95 rated, or 91 rated. Had these that are unrated. And um, also had the AVO box presses. I got it for $69. Plus, I get 15% off for being a paramedic, which, you know, it's really great to have extra money off your cigars, especially when you buy as much as I do. I got a lot of cigar unboxing videos coming. I might do one where I give away. Well, 
I like to put some of these Nicaragua 90s which, with whatever ones I give away. Trey, you know you got this cigar and then you got one that's going to just knock it out the water. <laughs> I might go to my local cigar shop down here. They have their own store brand ones. See if I can't do a giveaway of theirs one day. And of course I'll throw in another cigar as well that's not theirs. Or a bunch of stickers, Cigar Life stickers, that are going to be coming in the mail pretty soon. I'm going to do a giveaway for those. Checking on some t-shirts and hats and stuff. And uh, see if I can't get some merch going, guys. I just got to get enough subscribers on here to monetize. <laughs> Not enough to make it to where I quit a job or anything, but enough to pay for itself, give back to you guys, and uh, make it to where we can share the cigar smoking experience. Because if I have a cigar and you want a cigar, go pick one out the humidor. I mean, I'm not going to tell you, can't smoke that one, it's too expensive. I might tell you the three that I'm saving each for my kids, you can't touch that top drawer. Everything else is free to go. All the extras of these and, you know, those are free to smoke. Well, that's really good. I need a drink for this one. It's just that chocolatey flavor in that. I mean, this one I always like to mix with a beer just because the flavor is not very strong and punchy. Let's sit back up there. But I mean, it is a nice medium body. I get those earthy tones at the beginning. They go away. And from my experience, they try to come back at the end. But the woody, chocolatey flavor, a little sweet. That's something I really like. It, the, the sweetness is kind of a... I don't know whether to say it's tropical or say it's just sweet. Because it's kind of tropical sweet. That's a good beer. You know, these are what Maduros are supposed to be. Through the years, the Maduros, people automatically thought they were full body because they're dark. When you drink dark coffee, more flavor. You get anything dark, it's just more flavor, more flavor. Well, people started catering to the American market. And making the Maduro leaves dark flavor. So all the light flavor dark leaves, they had to put as fillers. But you can have whatever leaf be whatever flavor. I mean, Laero leaves turn into light, dark, medium, all different colors. That's why they sort them like they do. The wrappers, though, for the Maduros, they can either pick the ones that are really strong Lero leaves, or then go a little bit further down the uh, tree, a little bit further down the tobacco bush, and get ones that are a lot less. It also depends on the growing season, too. Too much sun, thicker leaves. Not enough sun, thin leaves. This is just a really great cigar. Well, you know how it worked, guys. I'm going to ash it right now. I'm going to drink this beer, smoke a little bit of this, and I'll be back when it's time to ash again. Don't worry. I won't ash without you. All right, guys. Ash is staying on there pretty good. It's smoking great. Pairs perfectly with uh, beer that... I don't want a name, but I don't always drink it. But when I do, it's this brand. I'm just impressed by these cigars all the time. I cannot wait to smoke that 30 year age one. This is just good. The Nicaraguan is still better. I already smoked a Nicaraguan today. <laughs> if y'all put a little activated charcoal in the bottom of your ashtray, 
it'll knock out all that smell. And you can buy activated charcoal online anywhere, really. Actually, until I started doing these videos, my wife didn't like me smoking in the house, so I'd go sit outside by the pool, turn on the lights, smoke a nice cigar, listen to Joe Rogan podcast. It's pretty good ash on still. Oh. So, guys. Go to my Facebook. Tell me what your favorite stick is that you smoked lately. Tell me what you liked about it. And how you rate it between 0 and 100. If you rate it at 0, you're probably smoking a Swisher Sweet. <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, guys, tell me what you like. Tell me what to try. I always like trying new things. I've probably tried them before, but, I mean, years change. Different matches change. The only thing that doesn't change is David off. They keep everything in there is perfectly the same, which there's nothing wrong with perfection. But yeah, let me know if you tried a new stick that you really like. Might even be a cheap one. Some cheap cigars are really, really great. One of my favorite ones is the Factory Smokes. Those are absolutely awesome. I love them. Alex is a master at what he does. And everything they've done from the acid to the factory smokes are absolutely great. Another one is Cuban rounds. I have some Cuban rounds that have been in my humidor for about 10 years. <laughs> so, 10 year age Cuban rounds. They're the best Cuban rounds you'll ever smoke. They taste light years different than when I got them. And in case you don't know, I always take all my cigars out of the wrapper. And the reason why I do that is you cannot age whiskey in a, uh, in a bottle. You have to age it. It has to be touching oak. Same thing with cigars. When you age cigars, they need to be rotated. They need to be touching cedar. That's the part that makes them smooth. That cedar leaches out the toxins and just slowly makes them smoother and smoother throughout the time. That's why I got my humidor cooler because it keeps them perfect and I'll be able to age them for a long time. As y'all know from my previous videos, I like to save some for my kids because they want to be able to smoke when they get older and um, I'm saving them three of the best cigars. You know, One for me, one for each one of them. And I can't wait to be able to smoke with them, relax, and I'll you know, see what they think. The first one's going to be funny. <laughs> I'm going to give them one of these 90 plus Nicaraguans that got aged an extra 10 years. See what they think about that. Well, by that time, the Cuban rounds I have for them will be 22 years old. So, we'll see how they like that too. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and come back with y'all at the next ash well guys time to ash again this cigar is just good all the way through I mean right now it lost the earthiness the last time the earthiness has came back it's just as sweet just as smooth Got a little more of that chocolate flavor. When you retro inhale, you really taste that earthiness. It's so good. You know, in the video that the microphone is off, I tell a story. And I'm going to tell it again now. First got started smoking cigars because there's a little Cuban shop uh, right there in my hometown. A guy that made his own cigars, ordered his own lease, did everything. He came over in 1961. 
from Cuba. And he found his way over here to Galveston County in Texas. And he opened up his cigar factory, you know, after he retired. And uh, he taught me and my brother a lot about cigars. We got to watch him hand roll them. Got to try hand rolling a few. And got to smoke them. And when I smoke this one. Kind of brings me back. It brings me right back to where me and my brother were out shooting guns at cars, not driving ones, old ones that people had left out in the field. wasn't the first time they'd been shot. And dang sure the dang sure wasn't the last. <laughs> and we'd pick up a couple nice cigars, go out and do a day of shooting. It's kind of a Texas thing. Um, there's abandoned vehicles that have holes in them already from people shooting them it's free game there's also a refrigerator out there and a couple other things that you got to put targets to and shoot uh, we always tried the penetration test see which bullet went the furthest through it in one door out the other out two 330 grain 45 long colt was always the winner in the pistols <laughs> Oh man, I love these cigars. I actually learned something cool from watching a video. The pinky rule. When you get down to about a pinky before you get to the label, the gum on the label should be heated up enough that you can take it off and it will not tear your wrapper in case somebody messed up and stuck a little too much gum on it. So, I'll start doing that. This is just a really good cigar. It's very well worth purchasing. For some reason, it is not rated on a scale from 1 to 100. I'd say it's a 93, 95. Uh, all day long, 93. 95 really depends on your taste. Uh, it's just, it's an amazing cigar. It is something to be old, i tell you that. Still not as good as the Nicaraguan though. That one is just the best cigar I've smoked in five years or so. I can't, I can't tell you enough about that thing. I'm not selling them. I'm not telling you what company I got them from. They're just that good, from my palate at least. I'm not one of those guys that can take a hit out and tell you where it came from or anything. I can just tell you what I taste in it. The thing that helps me out with it is uh, the books I've told y'all about before. Grab one of the cigar journals, write it down, keep it. It'll help you out with it. It also tells you what to look for, what flavors. You might not even realize that you were tasting certain things out of a cigar until you actually start looking for them. It's kind of like if a singer listens to a song, they hear stuff that me and you just don't hear because they've been trained for it. If you get one of the books and start doing this to your cigars, you're kind of training yourself to look for that. And yeah, I had to go get another one and pour it, so don't judge. Whenever I smoke a really smooth cigar, I don't like having something strong to overpower it. I like having a palate cleanser, something like a beer or... A mojito. The review I did had no sound. I actually drank a mojito with it. I had to go get some more fresh mint. And due to COVID, you don't have any fresh mint in the store. By the ones in the gardens, the leaves just aren't quite big enough yet for me to make it look good. So I'll let it grow a couple more days. Well, guys, I'll be back on the next Ash. Probably be the last one before that. Let you know how it goes. Alright guys, still has the same flavor as last time. Still the same smoothness. I mean, these are what Maduro's are supposed to be. This is what aging does to it. It's just, it's amazing. The fermented tobacco for that long, roll it up and stash it away for 10 years. I know I keep stretching back like this, guys, but... This cigar is just relaxing.
I mean, that's why that's why we love cigars. You never see a depressed man smoking a cigar. Say, so it's just it's too good, man. It's too good. I definitely got to do one of these in the giveaway. I got to share this. I mean. I'm not one of those guys gets that neighbor gets a brand new car and you go, oh man, I wish I had a brand new car. I'm happy they got a brand new car. I wish everybody had a brand new car. This, I love and I want to share it because I think everybody should get to smoke one. So that's the people I work with. I'd give away Cuban cigars like crazy because Cubans are actually very cheap here in Houston. So... <laughs> I got a buddy who drives down to Mexico, just goes back and forth from a hotel room across the border, picking up his maximum allowed limit, and then brings him back and brings him back and brings him back, and he'll do that for five, seven days, however long he needs to, and then come back and sells them to everybody for double the price. So you buy him for two dollars a stick when he's buying them for less than a dollar a stick, and they're real. They're good Calibas. Romeo and Juliet does all kinds. I mean, but the Monte Cristo, the Cuban Monte Cristos kind of all have the same flavor no matter what. But I, I do love the good Cohibas. My dad's like, my dad likes the little Cohibas, the Cigarellos. I like just the regular Toro Cohibas. They're good. They're not the best in the world, but they're a good everyday smoke. They're kind of take it back in time to what cigars used to be and these are what cigars should be well guys make sure to like share and subscribe every video contest if you're a subscriber all you have to do is like it you're automatically entered in and um, hey guys until next time have a good cigar and a good life I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna finish that drink and then probably going to bed. So I'll see you next time, guys. Good night.